Hello viewers. Today we are going to talk about how to train predict AI model which predicts based on the historical data that we provide. We have been discussing AI model and its each type in a few videos. This is one of the last type. This model predicts future outcomes. We have three types, binary prediction, multiple possible outcomes, and numeric prediction, where the answer is a number. We'll review some use cases now. Binary prediction is two possible answers, like yes or no, or true or false, on, on time or late. Multiple outcome prediction is when more than two possible outcomes. Numerical prediction is when the question is answered with a number. We will train our model for binary prediction, whether car ride like an Uber or a Lyft arrive on time or not. Before we build this AI model, we'll go through some prerequisites. Training data, we need to make sure our data is in Dataverse and is structured in a correct format. We need at least 10 records of historical outcome for each class to train the model. The minimum for training is 50 records, but for best results, we should have at least 1000 records. We can use either sample data or our own data to start. But ideally, we need historical data based on our business needs. It has a three steps. One is a prepare the data to train. Second, import the data into Dataverse. And then third step is train it. Microsoft provides sample data starts with that, or we can prepare own data. I prepared some sample data as shown on the screen. It has a few columns. In that, three of them is important to us. The one is is holiday and time of day, and the another one is on time. The time of day I meant is morning, afternoon, or evening. Now it's a demo time. So step one, prepare the data. Already I prepared the sample data. Let me show that on the data on the file. So it's a CSV file, and then it has a few columns. As I mentioned, these three columns are it's important to us. So when I'm the first column I'm mentioning, basically it's a holiday, uh, not to to know about whether the vehicle is arrive on time or not. The second one is the time of day. One is a morning, set, what two is afternoon, and three is evening. On time, basically this is what we are going to predict. Some of the data on on time column is blank. So this one is our model is going to use to test when the model preparing the training. Now uh, step two, import the data to Dataverse. To import the data, the data should be in OneDrive. So let's open a OneDrive. And then I have a two sample data uh, in a different version. So we are going to import this uh, data to Dataverse. So first one is in a data drive. Let's open a browser and go to your, your environment. Basically, um, I have one environment. It's not a default one. Make sure you're not using a default one. On the left navigations, click tables under data, click data, get data, and select text or CSV file, and then it's files in OneDrive. select the latest version open it click next okay and transform data so this sample data um, it's transformed properly for example on time basically we are seeing that a true or false and the same thing, it's holiday, basically, it's saying that, no, uh, second, same, true or false. The time of date is a numeric, one, two, three. And then the data is, looks good. And click next. 
I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to say ride on time. Ride on time. So we'll keep as it is default one. We can have the number column. We can say that's such a unique number or we can keep auto generated one. I'm just keeping an auto generated one. And then this is a refresh one. So this is just simple uh, sample data, just trying for one time. So we we'll say refresh manually, click create. Okay, our table is ready. Right on time, open the table and go to data. We'll make sure our data is in loaded properly. Select all columns and then see, yep, it's loaded. Uh, looks like it's loaded. It's only sample data here. And then on time, it's some of them it's kept blank for testing. Okay, good. So now, step three, build and train the model. Go on the powerapps.com, basically on the left navigation side, click build under AI builder. We'll select prediction. Say, do the name, predict on time arrival, click create. Okay, and then our table is right on time. So what we are going to predict is whether it's on time or not, on time, selecting the column, and click next. Now we need to select what are the columns, basically the data it's going to define it to train the model. So I'm unselecting that one. I need to select only the two of the column is holiday and the time of day. This is the only the two of them which I'm thinking to train or to, to predict it. Or we can select even the data also, even though sometimes it's a car number also, right? So one driver may arrive on time, the other driver may, you know, a little bit late something. So we can choose either the date or a car number also. So now I'm selecting for our model, I'm selecting only two, is holiday and the time of day. Click next. And then I'm not going to filter anything. We can filter it, you know, for example, based on a city or you know, based on the state. So I'm not filtering anything, just skip it here. Click next. Okay. Click train, then we can close this window in a new moment. And then we'll, now the model is training now. So we'll check once the model is trained. Okay, uh, now our model is trained. Open our model, go to details. Then now the performance is C. So what it means, just click on this one. So it says predicted 89% of the actual results. Click C details. And then what, this is the meaning of what the model grade name. So, so it's a C. C it's 89 to 90% percentage. Um, it's good, still it's good. So if you train with a more data, or you get a more good prediction. So close this window. Then now, if you see it here, you can retrain it. If you can add a more sample data on the retrain it, or we can publish the model now. Okay, now our model is published now. So now I will go to table to see the results. Click on the table. And then we will open our right on time. And then click go to data. Select all columns. Okay, so now if you see uh, three columns is added uh, by the systems, basically the one is explanation and then whether it, the second one says whether predicted or not, the third one is the prediction, um, the percentage basically. So we had 10 rows, we kept blank, basically it's 
predicted for the, the column, which we kept the on time is a blank. So it's a, the result is pretty much good. And then next time, basically, we'll, we can use this model in, in a Power Automate. This concludes our demo to build and to train a predict AI model. In the next video, we will discuss how to use or consume this predict AI model using Power Automate. Thanks for watching and please write your feedbacks down below. See you next time.